Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So we've got a smiley package today and I'm hoping it's the one that I'm waiting for. Right, I'll just get into it and we'll have a look. <gasps> Yay, it's the one that I wanted. Okay, so I am taking part in uh, Mrs Crochet and Coffee's event, uh, POC, People of Colour or Person of Colour, uh, for Black History Month. This one is a painting uh, oh, ooh, bits, bits, bits. <laughs> this one is a painting. Uh, well, you'll see when I get into it. If I can get into it, for goodness sake. It's not wanting to come out of the bag. Okay, let's give it. Oh, it's a very stiff canvas. This one has come from Amazon. And I'll put the shop name and the details down below. It's one that I've had in my basket for a while. And it is a beautiful, really a geisha, is she? She's like more of a warrior princess, um, an oriental warrior princess. So I just, it just spoke to me, this one, when I saw it. I just love the colours. Uh, there's not much colour blocking. And I just thought the face was beautiful. Uh, I'm hoping with it only being a 30 by 40 that it's going to come out um, as a reasonable painting. But uh, yeah, look at that. She's fighting. And that looks a bit like a butterfly to me on the sword. Well, that's what I thought it was anyway. So, okay, let's see if I can just flatten this one out a little bit. So, I hope everybody's doing okay. Oh, look, I made a right mess of that. <laughs> what I'm hoping to do actually in this one uh, is get this kitted up as well so we can get started on it because we are past the 1st of February. Mrs Coffee's event started on the 1st of February and I believe it's posting pictures on Instagram. Uh, there is a hashtag which I will again put in the comments down below and I'll see if I can put it across the screen. <laughs> learning all the time with these things oh, look at that. I just love the colours it's so me pinks, 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 yay and we may have some hot pink as well but I think I'm going to put some uh, ABs, some sparklers in this but look at that, she's definitely a feisty lady and um, that's what I fancied doing I know I've seen a couple of other um, oriental ladies but this one as I say with her sword and her expression just spoke to me and I thought yep that's the one that I want and so I've had it in my basket for on and off for a while as I say I tend to have wish lists all over the place if I ever win the lottery this house will just absolutely I'll probably have a room full of diamond paintings <laughs> okay so we've got our basic little toolkit there pen bolt and wax um as I say I have got my uh, challenge going on if you want to uh, vote um it was the choice between the easter egg painting and the llama painting i'm always saying that these toolkits are enough to do your painting so i'm putting my money where my mouth is oh dear i may live to regret this and i'm gonna have a go at doing a painting with just the green boat the wax that comes with it and the little pen that comes with it and i did ask you to vote so far the easter eggs are winning so it looks like that one will be uh, going. But again, I'll put a link to that video down below as well. It's going to be all links. It's like giving you homework. <laughs> I promise it's nowhere near as bad as home. So let's have a look at these drills. So they are uh, in these silver packets with the blue writing. Okay. Get them out with the crinkle. Right, so we have 23 colours. Wow. So that's nice. They're all, are they all capital letters? Uh, oh, we've got one number down here and all capital letters. And um, we've got a P there and an R. Ooh, P and R. R. Well, I suppose one's sort of a burgundy ish colour and one's a greeny colour. So I'll have to watch out for that. But I hate P. Oh, an O and D. But again, different colours so we should be okay. I tend to reserve judgment as I always say 
until I'm actually doing a painting and then you find the problems as you're going along and I am starting to put in my logbook now as I go along um, which problems I'm having and then I can pass those on to you just in case you're wanting to do the painting don't let it put you off doing the paintings but it's just an indication of what uh, things I've had to deal with and maybe it will help you if you want to do it okay so we'll start at number one we have got DMC codes on the canvas. There's no DMC codes on the drills, but the actual kit number is on the drills there. So if you do get one of the little bags lost somewhere, I speak from experience. I have had one lost down the side of the settee, but that's a whole other story. Uh, so yeah, you can just then match it up with your canvas number as to <laughs> Okay, so we have a lovely pinky colour there and a maroon oh and a lovely rose pink these colours are gorgeous and a peach colour and a black and grey and a lighter grey and then you see like beigey browns oh that's a lot of fat colour is that all the same one that is number nine which is Four, gosh, sorry, my eyesight's really bad today. I'm quite tired. Uh, four, five, two. We didn't have a brilliant night last night. So, when I'm really tired, my eyesight gets worse than it normally is. Uh, we've got a nice wine red there. And a navy purpley blue. And what's that, like a mid blue? And that's brown there. And another like purpley pinky colour. And very dark green, that's like, um, sort of, I don't know, what would you call that, a sort of an, an army green, I think. Uh, and a pinky beige colour. And another brown. And not quite a caramel chocolate colour. And a rosy pink. And another pink. So we've no hot pinks, but never mind. And then your blues and your burgundies and your thorny colours. Okay, so they are very nice colours in this. Yeah, I think sort of where her jewel on her head there possibly put some nice um, ABs, Aurora Borealis, which is like your Northern Lights oil and water kind of coated gems that just make things sparkle a little bit. I wonder if this is like a jewel or if it's a little mini tattoo. Maybe it's just a bit of blossom that's fallen, but her necklace cries out. I've got those uh, gems left over from if you saw me do my Squid Games keychains. Um, I'd like a grey gunmetal type um, drill in with those. That would probably look quite spectacular on there. And then her cuff here that she's got. So, yeah. Okay. Right, what I'm going to do now then is pause and I'm going to get everything out. And I'm going to get my key code copied out and we're going to kit this one up straight away. So we're doing things a little bit differently today, but I want to get this one started because we're into February now and I don't want to join in with the POC along. OK, be back in a second. OK, I'm back. Right. Um, so sorry about the shadows. It's just a dark day again today. I think that's going to be my catchphrase at the moment. Hi, everybody. It's a dark day today. <laughs> So I've copied uh, the key code and um, just literally scanned it and then printed it out on my printer. So we've got that and I'm going to make it into a sticker through my little Zyron sticker maker. So let's just get these done. This just turns any bit of paper or whatever you can actually fit through the little slot there into a sticker. Put sticky on the back and it's a dry glue so you don't have to wait for it to dry which is brilliant. Okay, the sticky comes off on there from the edges. I'll just get rid of that bit if it'll get it off my hand. I'm using my Craft Buddy Crystal Art uh, oh, <laughs> 30 storage container, uh, 29 storage container because I've still not emptied those drills out that I was going to find a new home for. Uh, anyway, I will do, so I will get that done. I have a list like an Andrex toilet roll, very, very long and extra strong. Oh, my new little Scotty Dog sticker there, just got a bubble in it that I've just noticed. So let's get these cut out then. So if you put uh, the edge either side, then when you cut through them, 
you've got something to hang on to to be able to peel it off so you're not having to get tweezers or nails or anything underneath which is a real pain because uh, I can never do it or if I do I certainly can't do it on camera anyway because I would just be fighting with it and we definitely have to have one of those things that says a few hours later on it <laughs> all right yeah um we have connections with uh, japan my uh, nephew did get married uh what, what year are we in now 2022 no he got married last year and um, he got engaged Christmas 2020 and he got married um, round about Christmas 2021 yeah I think that's right yeah oh dear brain's not working today so yeah and uh, she is a very very pretty Japanese girl and uh, yeah we've yet to meet her um, mainly due to uh, the horrible pandemic because they've not been able to travel over here to come to see us and the way hubby is at the moment uh, we can't get over there we do hope to eventually go to japan i love japan i love the culture i love the respect and yeah i would really really like to go there um, it is very expensive he's in uh, the osaka area he used to be in tokyo which with it being the capital is very very expensive i'm not sure about osaka whether it is still the same i know the uh, olympics were held around there as well so i think uh, it's not one of the cheapest places to visit but it's like anything else it's you pay for what you get i suppose and it's worth it to go there certainly going to be an experience of a lifetime and um, my other nephew has been out there with his fiance and they've been to uh, disneyland tokyo which is supposed to be wonderful or disneyland japan i think it is and uh, yeah we'd love to go there as well so let's get these kitted up let's get started I feel like these ones when they come all numbered up so all in number order Ooh, let me grab a tray spilly liz does not want to be throwing them all over okay we'll just use the white tray for now as i said i apologize for the shadow okay so we'll start at number one and work our way around Oh, anybody would think I'd never done this before. Look, I'm not even taking the lids off the jars, ready to pop them in. I must admit, these are my favourite type of storage. I've tried different ones, but I just find that the bottles are so much easier to work with. I mean, each to their own, you know, if you find you've got a different way that you like doing it. But I find these are just the easiest for me. And quite often, even if I've got the little bags with them all bagged up, I will still go to the storage bottles. Yeah, I think because I'm such a clumsy person and do like to throw them all over. Um, but yeah, they're a little bit safer in the bottles with the lids on. As long as you do put the lids on properly, of course. <laughs> Look, I'm knocking them over already. Fortunately, that didn't have any drills in it. Let me just move that up there slightly. So I love most cultures clothes i love clothes and um, not that you'd see it to look at me i'm sat here in like a, a sort of a gray greeny top and uh, just some very tatty old leggings that have got bleach stains on them and they've got a hole in them from when i was putting something out to cut through them and uh, yeah they've got bits of glue and all sorts on them when i've wiped my hands down on them when they've been dirty from glue and things so the what I call my crafting trousers, um, it's quite good actually because when you open the front door to anybody, um, you stood there and you scruff, but you can say, oh, excuse me, I'm just in my work gear. <laughs> Makes you look as though you've been busy doing something other than just sat down and painting. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've I've got a sari. I think I've mentioned before. Um, my friend went across to India to her friend's... Sorry, that's my printer talking again. It always seems to like talking to me just as I start doing my videos. Maybe I ought to turn it off before I start. Uh, yeah, my friend went to uh, India 
uh, for her friend's wedding and they went swimming with elephants and oh goodness and they did all sorts but she brought me a sari back because she knows I just love the colours and the beads oh, absolutely wonderful and um, if you ever get to London there's a place called Spitalfields Market and around there some of the streets around there are the uh, Indian like fabric sellers and they sell all the fabrics and the beads and the beaded threads and everything for the saris absolutely wonderful oh I just spent hours looking in the shop windows you know it's like one of those uh, little children just peering through <laughs> Uh, but yeah, and um, I think Japanese kimonos are the same. So if I ever do get to Japan, then that is one thing I would like to do. I know they probably cost thousands. I probably wouldn't be able to afford one. Um, not have to pay them to get there as well. But I would certainly love to do one of those. You know, I think you can get dressed up in one and it takes hours. You know, and all the makeup. And I'd have to have a wig because my hair is nowhere near as good as uh, a Japanese lady's beautiful hair. So, yeah, but there's certainly some beautiful outfits and beautiful costumes out there. Um, I don't think we really have one for the UK. I know Wales like have their um, Welsh ladies outfits, but I don't think we really have one for England as such. Am I in the right ones? Have I got there already? Goodness me, I'm talking that much. I don't even know what number I'm up to. Number... No, that's number nine, so I've definitely missed one. What have I done? Oh, I've just done a Liz. <laughs> There's two bags of number nine. And I'm thinking, oh no, I've missed a number. What have I done? What have I done? And it's because we've got two bags of number nine. Oh dear, at least I've not lost a number. Oh dear, no. If I had a brain, I would be dangerous. Oh dear. I think we'll just straight away put those into another pot all right it's just one of those days uh the first half of my video I have, when i'm actually filming i like to try and see what i what you see so I, I use mirror um and that wasn't working so the first half of the video showing you the uh, the lady and the drills and everything the canvas and the drills mirror wasn't working so I was sort of doing that blind and hoping that I was in the right place for the video and now my brain's just completely not working and I'm not doing this right at all. So we have a V there and it is number four, five, two. Oh, and do you know I can actually read that as well, which is, as you know, if you've been following me for a while, it's unusual for my writing because it's appalling. Now I've lost the lid, look. I never said I was professional at this. <laughs> I think these are definitely how not to diamond paint and how not to make YouTube videos. But anyway, if I make you smile, then that's what it's all about. There's not enough smiling in the world. Oh, look, and I have spilled a few, but not many. Not many. Okay, so we have two pots of number nine, and we'll put that one out of there. <gasps> Panic over. Right, let me throw these away so I don't get muddled up with these. I'll start again and I've no idea what I was talking about. I think I was talking about the beautiful Japanese ladies and the Indian ladies and ladies from all sort of cultures really that have beautiful outfits and we don't really have one for the UK which is sad. Uh, sometimes going around town you do think it's possibly t-shirts and leggings <laughs> but we do like to be comfy. And to be fair, you never know what to wear in this country anyway, because we do get different weathers all on the same day. Um, you, know, you, you can go out in your uh, Wellington boots and your bikini just to be uh, covering all bases. I forgot it outside. <laughs> you just never know whether you're going to be boiling or whether you're going to be freezing. Anyway, get your cardigan and get your woolly pulley on that you can take off just in case. So uh, yeah, we've um, Hubby's had his fourth COVID injection today. Um, the 
centre, the doctor's centre rang up yesterday and said that uh, hubby was due his fourth. Apparently you have to have a top up. I think every three to four months they're wanting vulnerable people now to have a top up. So um, they rang up and said, would it be okay if the nurse came today and uh, did his injection? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, brilliant. I think we must have got onto the wrong list because normally we have to go into the surgery for the uh, injections. But no, they actually sent a nurse to come and do the injection today, which is excellent. Saves me uh, having to get him in the car and get his wheelchair into the car and everything. That was brilliant. Well impressed with that. So, and plus as well, he didn't know she was coming. So that's even better because he is quite needle phobic. He does get very, very upset at blood tests and needles and things. And he has had an awful lot in the last few years. Um, of prodding and poking and, uh, as I say we're playing consultant bingo I think we're up to about six or seven consultants that we're seeing now so we get his results next week of his uh, bone marrow biopsy so fingers crossed for that uh, it's strange really because you sort of you don't want anything major to be wrong with him but you'd like them to find something so they can say, yeah, it's that. We'll just give you this tablet and that'll help you and that'll make you feel a bit better. You know, it's sort of like that in between sort of stage. But yeah, he's uh, a very poorly person, to be honest. Um, there's a lot going on and we do need to get to the bottom of it. I can't deal with the, all this worry. I know it's happening to him, but... Uh, when you're looking after somebody and when you love somebody, you know, you, you'd like to take the hurt away if you could. And you do worry. But thank goodness for diamond painting. Because he's asleep at the moment, fortunately. So I've snuck upstairs to do this video so I can get this all started and kitted up and ready. That's probably why I'm going at hyper speed as well. Just in case he wakes up. Um, is that a... A good dinner so he usually does have a, a nice sleep after he's been fed <laughs> make him sound like the dog does <laughs> feed and water him and then he goes for a sleep for the afternoon but yeah um it was quite nice the nurse coming so and he didn't make a blinking fuss with the nurse as he does when i have to give him his injections on a night he didn't scream at her and carry on <laughs> Uh, um, I'm having to do his uh, blood pressure every morning and every night at the moment and record it as well so I think they're gradually turning me into like a part-time nurse all the different little jobs that I have to do you know I've got these emergency antibiotics and I've got his injections to do on a night now I have to keep checking his temperature as well and keeping an eye in case he's got any um, pressure sores or anything anywhere and oh dear me <laughs> <sighs> never mind he's worth it and we have ordered his wheelchair his electric wheelchair should be here next week yay i can't wait and i know he's real excited about it hopefully it'll cheer him up because he'll be able to just bob out and just go around the block in it if he wants to you know he's not having to wait for me to push him around or whatever um and I can just get up and go and uh, hopefully he'll come back <laughs> I'm thinking of fitting one of those homing things on it you know one of those tracking devices so I can keep an eye on where he's gone <laughs> oh dear all right well that I think that's one been one of the quickest kitting ups that I've ever done but anyway so we've got the 23 colors all in our little case we've got one that's got two lots in there so that's okay so that's all kitted up ready to go um what shall i do with the front shall i put my papers on the front or not no i'm going to leave it just to flatten out with this paper on the front i am going to put it under something heavy i'm not going to start it today because it does need to flatten out there are quite a few creases still in it so i'll leave that cover on for now and then when i start it I will put my release sheets, my, it's like a waxy sort of release -ish. Let me show you. 
cover sheets. I think you've seen these before, but if you haven't, um, quite a few of the um, diamond painting suppliers are actually selling these now. They're like a shiny, waxy coated um, sheet. If you're not sure whether to use them on your diamond paintings or not, just a little tip. Just lift up the corner of your painting and maybe just do one or two squares in the corner and just press it down and if it's really hard to take off then don't use it or try using the other side but if you put it down and it just comes up really easily then it's proper release paper that you're using okay so yeah i'll be covering mine over with these once it's flattened down a bit, little bit more, but uh, yeah, I mean, I could start it now um, and just keep flattening it as I go along, but I think it would be better to leave it under something heavy for 24 hours and then it'll be that a little bit easier to work on. Right, well, that is me done for now. As I said, I'll leave all the uh, links in the comments down below. Uh, sorry, in the description down below. I keep checking back as I will be putting bits on in Instagram, my progress and everything as to what I'm doing. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this quick little video um, from opening to kitting up all in one. Something a little bit different. If you have, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you've got any comments or questions, if you want to leave them in the comments down below, and if you want to come back, see what I get up to next, see what's in the pipeline, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the little all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come up. OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.